So what year did you start here, Dave? It was July 1st, 1981. Huh, fun fact. I was born the year after that. What makes that a fun fact? So Dave, is it really time to retire? Yeah, um, I think it's really time to retire, uh, mostly because I think this is a great time for Mount Calvary to make that transition. Uh, started thinking about this, uh, knowing that it would come eventually, and it just seems like now is a really good time to go forward. And I'm excited. I'm excited for Mount Calvary, and I'm excited for me. What's next for you? What the plan is now is that uh, when we bring in a new pastor, I will be here for a while and uh, do some mentoring and uh, you know, share some information, knowledge of the congregation. Then I'll go away for a couple months and, and come back as a pastor emeritus, which we've decided is a nicer way than referring to me as the old guy. Talk to us about the, the sequence of events once the new pastor starts. What, what does that, that next three, six months look like? Uh, when that person starts, uh, the two of us will share my job description. And we will work together. And over a period of time, there's no specific deadline. We'll see how things progress. Uh, but over probably a month or two, maybe three, uh, we'll work together. And what I will do is I will gradually step back and that person will gradually step forward while we're working together and then when we feel it is time we meaning the church council uh, and staff when we feel it's the right time um, I will go on sabbatical there will be a very public recognition that this person is the sole senior pastor um, after a couple months sabbatical I'll come back in that emeritus role and uh, just be here in support. Pastor Dave, what's happening right now when we're calling this new pastor? What's going on behind the scenes or in front of the scenes? Um, can you fill us in on that? Yeah, a, a lot of the, the preparatory work has been done, a pastor profile, congregational profile, job descriptions. Right now, the executive uh, uh, search person uh, is contacting people and trying to find out if they're interested. Uh, the bishop's office sent a representative here, and they're involved now in looking through their resumes that are on file, and we'll be sending some uh, of those profiles along. And uh, once the call committee gets those, they'll start going online to just, you know, see who these people are, what the congregations are like that they're in, sample some of their preaching and maybe some teaching that they can see and then decide together who they want to interview. Their first day here, what will be your first piece of advice to them? I would have them walk with me over to the deli at Kowalski's. And then I think take the rest of the day off.